Hi, I'm Sam Crow, and today we're going to pay a visit to one of the most exciting birding locations in the entire country, the Rio Grande Valley of Texas. This birding mecca extends from South Padre Island, north along the Rio Grande River in the border of Mexico, all the way to Falcon Lake. Such a trip spans a large array of habitats, from the beaches and tidal flats of South Padre, to the floodplains and resacas of the Rio Grande, to the near desert conditions at Falcon State Park. This area is flush with birds any time of year, so let's get started with a few of the valley specialties. Jays are a colorful and noisy group of birds, and you will not find a more striking example than the green jay of South Texas. Common in the Rio Grande Valley, green jays are found as far north and east as Corpus Christi. Another area corvid, the rare brown jay, haunts the woodlands along the Rio Grande River, sometimes near the town of Roma, although locations and populations are inconsistent. The golden-fronted woodpecker replaces the red-bellied woodpecker in South Texas. One of the easiest ways to see golden-fronted woodpeckers and green jays is to slowly drive through the camping areas in Benson State Park and other public trailer campgrounds. Winter visitors to the area often set up small feeding stations. Grapefruit halves attract orioles as well as the jays and woodpeckers. You may also hear the whinny of the ladderback woodpecker during your visit and yellow-bellied sapsuckers winter in the area. Doves love the Rio Grande Valley. The common ground dove, shown here, is indeed common in the valley. The much rarer ruddy ground dove is sometimes a winter visitor to Benson State Park. The long-tailed, scaly back Inca dove is the other small dove of the area. The large white fronted dove can often be seen foraging on the ground for a quick meal and something to drink. The white winged dove with its who cooks for you call is also quite common as is the more widespread morning dove. Lucky birders working along the Rio Grande River might also have a chance to view the red billed pigeon, another valley specialty. The noisy chachalaca is often heard before it is seen. The paired calls you are hearing are actually a duet, being sung by two different birds. We'll leave the identification of the bird drinking up to you. Notice the olive sparrow that moves in and out of the background. This skulker is more often heard than seen, and its trill-like call is easy to remember once identified. Here, we have a brown thrasher. Oops, maybe we should take another look. Another species found only in South Texas is the long-billed thrasher. Very similar in appearance to the brown thrasher, the long-billed, by comparison, has grayer cheeks and a browner back than the brown thrasher. The paler curved-billed thrasher is also a year-round resident, and sage thrashers are winter visitors. Listen carefully and look quickly, and you'll see another valley specialty, the great kiskadee. One of the things that makes valley birding so special is the abundance of large, colorful birds that anyone can enjoy. The visitor center of the Laguna Atascosa Wildlife Refuge is a great place to visit early in the morning. You never know what kind of friendly visitors are likely to show up. For raptor lovers, the valley is a must. The beautiful Harris hawk with its chestnut shoulders is quite common. Efforts are underway to reintroduce the smallish Aplomato falcon in the area of Laguna Atascosa. Lucky viewers may even spy one sitting on a power line. The crested Caracara with its distinctive white head and black cap is also common in the area. But you're just getting started. Graceful white-tailed kites are fairly common, as is the white-tailed hawk, 
yet another specialty of South Texas. Look for the rare hookbill kite near Santa Anta National Wildlife Refuge or Vincent State Park. Thousands of broad-winged and Swainson's hawks can be seen during migration. Gray hawk, short-tailed hawk, and roadside hawk are among the other rare raptors of the area. As the warm Texas sun starts to heat things up, it's time to head for the beach. Perhaps the easiest way to view shorebirds is from the boardwalk behind the convention center on South Padre Island. Common moorhens make their homes in the area and are often easy to observe. Least bitterns can also be found in the reeds. Look for a variety of waders, shorebirds, gulls, and terns at the end of the boardwalk. Tricolored herons are common, although this winter plumaged bird is not as brightly colored as it will be in the spring. Tricolored herons are active hunters and fun to observe as they search out their prey. The reddish egret can also be found in the area, sometimes in its white morph plumage. This one is being quite casual. During feeding, they seem to stumble about an almost drunken animation. Laughing and ringbill gulls are shown here enjoying a refreshing bath on a warm day. Herring gulls are also present year around, while Bonaparte's and Franklin's gulls can be found in the appropriate season. Here is a quiz bird for the shorebird experts. Note the slightly drooping bill on this winter plumage bird. The persistent birder will often have a chance to view the large American oyster catcher. Oyster catchers put their strong bills to use as they feed upon small bivalve shellfish. Another showy bird is a roseate spoonbill. Spoonbills can be observed both on tidal flats and in wet inland areas. Spoonbills feed in shallow water by sweeping the broad bills back and forth. Watch for the orange tail if you have a chance to see one close up. Black neck stilts are another easy to identify species. This one was not quite sure if he were coming or going. Stilts are a common year round resident in the Texas Valley. The scissor tail flycatcher can be found throughout Texas in the summer and is quite common in most areas. The beautiful salmon color under the wings can be seen here. On very rare occasion, the similar fork tail flycatcher will make its presence known to valley birders. Least we forget, here is Mimus polyglottus, the state bird of Texas. Here are photographs of a few more birds you're likely to see during a visit to the valley. First year Altamira oriole, and Hinga, black-bellied whistling duck. Fulvous Whistling Duck, Groove-Billed Ani, Hooded Oriole, Least Grebe, Purple Gallinule, Sora Rail, Yellow-headed blackbird. Peregrine falcon. Thanks for watching. The Texas Rio Grande Valley tops out at number one on the Brazilla list of the top ten burning locations in the United States and Canada.